Hello friends, welcome to School of Political Science. In this video, I will discuss with you about the concept of sovereignty. We all know that there are four essential features of a state. The first one is population, the second one is territory, the third one is sovereignty and the fourth one is government. Sovereignty is the most important feature of a state because sovereignty gives legal status to a state. This is the ability of the state to under full control its territory without any external influences. Without sovereignty, a state is just like a colony and nothing more. So, in this video, I will try to find out some answers of these questions like uh, what is the meaning of sovereignty, what are the characteristics of the sovereignty, what are the theories of sovereignty and lastly, what are the challenges of the sovereignty in the context of globalization. Meaning of sovereignty. The term sovereignty is derived from the Latin word superenas which means supremacy or superior power. Bodin claims to be the first modern writer to give the idea of sovereignty in his famous book that is uh, sixth book of the commonwealth. In that time there was prevailing chaos in France which demanded a supreme authority whom everybody would obey. The civil war in France had practically ruined the country. That's why Vodin defined sovereignty as a supreme power over citizen and subjects unrestrained by law. Another exponent of sovereignty is Hobbes. Hobbes gave his theory of sovereignty in his famous book called The Leviathan. According to him, the sovereignty was created by means of a social contract. He was not a party to the contract and there was no limitation on his authority which was absolute. To him, sovereignty was indivisible and sovereign was a source of all authority. The next exponent of sovereignty was John Locke. He did not possess ultimate powers. According to him, sovereignty was not the supreme because he gave power to people to revolt against sovereignty if authority did not fulfill the duties which were given to him by the people. To Rousseau, the sovereign was the general will which was created by means of social contract. By the social contract, all the individuals gave up all the rights which they possessed in the state of nature to the sovereign. According to him, sovereignty is absolute and indivisible. His concept of sovereignty was known as the popular sovereignty. The most prominent exponent of sovereignty was John Austin. He gave a classic definition of sovereignty. According to him, the sovereign was a determinate person or a body of persons. The power of sovereign was legally unlimited. It was absolute and indivisible. To him, law was the command of the sovereignty. So, what are the characteristics of sovereignty? From the meaning of the sovereignty, it is clear that there are many characteristics of sovereignty. The first one is, sovereignty is absolute and unlimited. This means, neither within the state nor outside, it is there any power which is superior to the sovereign. Another characteristic of sovereignty in its universality or all comprehensiveness. The third one is sovereign is permanent because state itself a permanent. The fourth one is sovereign is indivisible. The reason is that if sovereignty is divided, there have a possibility to arise two or more sovereign. What are the theories of sovereignty? 
there are many two theory of sovereignty the first one is monistic theory of sovereignty and the second one is pluralistic theory of sovereignty so what is monistic theory of sovereignty the chief exponent of the monistic theory of sovereignty is john austin this theory of sovereignty defines sovereignty as the supreme unlimited indivisible to austin law is the command of sovereignty and the command of sovereignty is superior to over all individuals and associations sovereign is not bound to obey anyone's order what is pluralistic theory of sovereignty the pluralistic theory of sovereignty is the reaction of the monistic or absolutist austenian theory of sovereignty the chief exponent of the pluralistic theory of sovereignty is Harold Joseph Lasky. Pluralistic theory emphasized the sociological character of the state. They recognized the role of the several associations in the society formed by the men for their multifurious interest. According to the pluralistic theory of the state, is not about the various association existing in the society. All association including state has equal importance because only state cannot be fulfilled the people's multifarious interest. The last question is what are the challenges of the sovereignty in the context of globalization? This is the age of globalization. Today, the traditional notion of sovereignty lost its relevance. In the context of globalization, we are connected throughout the globe by using advanced technology. These are the some points which highlights the some challenges of sovereignty in the context of globalization. The first one is new economic order. Today, all states are interconnected through the new economic order. All country is dependent over each other. The second one is international organizations. There are several international organizations are established like uh, United Nations, International Monetary Fund, World Bank, etc. That's why state is no more superior in external affairs of the state. The third one is influence of international laws. These international organizations create several international laws to regulate entire world so every state has to be obey those laws internally and externally thank you friends for watching this video for more video please do subscribe our channel